Hello fine people of YouTube, this is Mr. C1210 back once again and here's a video for YouTube on the 3DS, would you believe it? I couldn't believe it. It pretty much, I just literally downloaded it straight away. The moment I found out, I was like, yes! Wicked! Finally! Great! Yes! And that, for the 3DS YouTube, it's high time what is going on, you know, is Nintendo living in the past or what, but it seems they're coming into the present in the future, so I thought I'd do a quick video just to show you guys you can get YouTube for the 3DS and we'll see how it goes. So this is it, this is YouTube. So you load it up and then you get some options. You can see what's popular and stuff. You can use the scroll pad which is quite quick. Um, scroll pad, um, the analog, shall I say? And you can sign in. I haven't signed in yet, but I'll search myself. So it's not very responsive. Just press it a couple of times. Thank you. Something's happening. Hey, there's my channel. There we go. And the video underneath it. So it selects my channel. Hey, do you like that? <clears throat> so, I haven't signed in because I know it'll probably crash monkeys everything up. But you've got your home, which gives you um, recent uploads most popular and that's it so you go back to the top and you can go to the feed feed excellent so the feed will load at some point yep there it is and this is stuff I've watched uh, likes or whatever however I've switched this option off on my channel and it seems to appear automatically on the 3DS app, so mm, there's an option there that really needs to be switched off because I switched it off and it's now on on this. I'm not signed into my YouTube. I'm just looking at it like anyone else would, you know, search on the internet. So feed, yeah, great. Videos, so videos. There we go, and it will start to load the videos at some point, there we go, loading and there we go, you've got videos then you've got playlists so playlists do show up, which is pretty cool so all my different playlists there, you can select them and then it also has my likes videos as well, which you know, I don't mind, but I did switch it off so I would like the option to that not to sort of filter through I also found out um, if you do a video and then you go onto YouTube and say for instance you put in like a, like a little bit of a, um, information on the screen if you're trying to explain something correctly and you don't in the video but then you go back in the video and you type it up and it just appears and you put it in the section of the video that doesn't appear on this YouTube because um, I put on a video and it didn't appear so it is my pick up and play one so if we just go back to videos, I'll select pick up and play. Alright, so you've got this little button there that says HQ, so I'm assuming that means high quality. Um, oh, and there's been an error, so it's, it's crashed. So it tried to load a video and it crashed. Oh, there's the evidence right there. So that's fucking amazingly fast and swift and perfect, this killer app. So let's wait for that to work again. So come on YouTube.
Nintendo have really dropped the ball. And uh, YouTube have as well, by the looks of it. Right. So let's just pick any of one, one of my videos. So for some reason it pops up in popular here. My videos, which is great, but I don't think that's correct. And I'll do even so Okay, let's select this one. Okay, again, so you got... Anyway, we'll just turn the sound down, so it is quite loud, which is pretty good considering the the sound in um, the preamp is totally shit. But um, this button, for, which I think stands for high quality, I, I believe it is, stands for horrendous quality because this is like, I don't know, um, 144p or something really bad. Um, you can press the HQ button and it, it makes it, divvers it down into even worse quality. Um, let's just press that button and it'll play the video from the start it won't actually do it, it from the middle so and it just makes the box even smaller and it just looks even more grainier um, it seems to have used the codec of uh, deadly square blocks and grain monkeys for this so uh, I've just really lost for words to be honest it, it takes like 8 minutes to make it even work and then a video that does work, you might have to press this HQ button or this horrendous quality button uh, to make it work. And uh, it is a bit of a slap in the face. It's a bit of a joke. I mean, all this technology, you know, the world we're living in today just seems of all unfinished technology that companies seem to just chug out with promises of, yeah, you can do this, that and the other, and then they don't actually do what they promise. And then when they do finally come out with something, you know, you get excited about it and think, you know, this is the end to the, all the pain and suffering, and it just makes it even worse because it is more painful and more suffering, to be honest. So, um, yeah, they're, they're my thoughts on the uh, YouTube app for 3DS. Too little, too late, Nintendo and YouTube. It is piss poor. Um, there needs to be some kind of law where these companies, you know, they make all these promises. It's just like politicians, really make promises and then don't actually follow through with them. When they do, they're extremely half arsed as you can see. So, uh, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, goodbye, and um, there'll be some videos coming shortly. So, yeah, cheers, goodbye, people, thanks for watching.